and sa a can be a free a NPP a man you could know legal team and so a conductee and also a forensics now forensic examination of audio recording no details are a primo ebony now omo ye analysis to determine the authenticity and the integrity of the audio now they use specialized techniques such as spectrographic analysis and digital integrity analysis to examine the recording for signs of editing and manipulation now omo employ sa techniques yi ewi ye no this is the preliminary observation sir the forensic audit department afford at the aba npp headquarters now this is a report from the national organizer osa and so a member of npp legal team osa also a lawyer nimapa henry nana bwachi esquire or say on the ndc's doctored manipulated cut and piece together tape preliminary investigation has revealed that the audio after going through an analyzer one there is a break in the audio at nine minutes 13 seconds forensic audit now actually ndc4 say a do nine minutes 13 seconds no omu break video no and the Omoan Kasanyema Eshishimu after minute nine every 13 seconds echo. Now, this is forensic audit and the day this revelation about Betuja. Number two, there is another break at 10 minutes 19 seconds. And she said, Concert here, see, don't get here, a big press conference, Nasia, no, we are no one named the Okeka, a Paul and the much better to be managed than say, Oh, Papa Pedmo, or your project is a chessy. Same thing, I could not call to Queen Sam Quayin Sim Noa. The same thing was about it. Minute 10, 19 seconds. And this is for question them also on blocking and on more infuse so Casa or more a person or more the shimu a bebo and the check can afford. Now, the forensic department audit and a days and credit we a bit to draw a diama can afford. Now, preliminary findings also reveals that a break in the spectrum of an audio is a clear sign of an audio that has been tempered with i.e it has been edited to remove add to the original audio the ambient background sound is equally suspicious now this is the case of kwame bafo abronye I also a background in legal studies perspective. I also do a bit too grand and one of the no. Say mostly in comedy, you know, Richard Japa, Justice Johnny Colendi, and Anthony Jira, and the Gushia demo dinkum. A dana a demo como sound surrounding sound. The one demo como and any telephone call and como. Now, this is exactly the preliminary findings of forensic audit. No, I'm also the one day about it too yeah, transfer. I say the voiceovers, the incoherence, the distortions are a calculated attempt to skim and maliciously tarnish the image of the attorney general to prematurely end the prosecution of Ato Forsen so that it will not see the light of day. And the, the audit department on forensics no am i clear say there were voiceovers and go for be edward manu fame yeah the audio effects a car kasan home then yeah a demo come on i'm able to just say demo come on name it was a calculated attempt to create a scene saying come on be an accosto but meanwhile no more to treby and the cc and you know nini nano is an effort to entrap the attorney general Na enquire say or no mumu any default. Na nipan kasa won di boni and doctor kills her at our issue letters of credit. Ako kra kasa any ambulance a ba e ambulance equipment di bien a boka na kano. No no mum afan wodi. Now they did this to solicit for public sympathy and to throw the whole case into delirium. Said ye be ya 
asema ye kan court no ye ba be kan the court of public opinion na se de na no justice e fi asse wan sare mutu di betu dwa no se de omo ye won change change de onnya de obehwe on hwe hwe the facts and the issues in court abetu ni mo e no e na ode e be ye djuma na heri na na bo achi e de ni nsem ni be wie no se for the record the success story of this attorney general will not be curtailed by such baseless accusations expect the final report soon i just say we a preliminary objection uh relations are and simply tv be the first to know and you do more busy with some way and sack and you may for the details in the amount the audio was doctored right from day one i report to any mama now on this same issue now ndc lawyer about kuni papu someone i do on the also be kind of crow but to know to a kind of crack say i do more yeah you know come on the attorney general fast no cry again any day na it smells mischief i don't know on this procedure na the record will be secret you know he doesn't subscribe to that procedure today or tomorrow he has uh, betrayed his own ndc in a way by speaking the truth for me and cop you could see you did you know surrounding this whole issue said before i i do that uh something i would rather yeah temperate I would rather we are temporary time. It's we should. It's, it's, it's a discussion. Ghanaians are all discerning. They are listening. So I agree how, with you. Out, 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 out. Rather advise my brother to temper the language. I mean, sometimes it's a bit too harsh. I mean, we are trained lawyers. I mean, even if you have a disagreement with someone, the language should be elegant. This of repeated beating of integrity and all that. I, I think we should reserve it for those who don't understand our training. I, I'll beg of Sunny, he, sh he should not indulge himself too much in that. It doesn't do justice to our practice. With all due respect to you, please. Now, I don't want to be a lawyer and a judge in my own cause, as he's doing. Hmm. This repeated recitals of sections 13, 52, 54, that's nothing to the conversation we are having. I have said from the get-go, it's left to others to disagree with me. But I have said from the get-go that that tape is doctored. So I, I really do not want to place too much premium on what transpired on that tape. In any event, in any event, nobody can tell anyone in this country the circumstances under which that conversation took place. They are saying it was a day before the court, whatever. But if you listen carefully to that conversation, it's, 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 it's a pieced up document. Because you never really would hear correctly what somebody has said. It is only Jacques' voice which is always heightened. And you hear him speaking. Now, I listened to that tape recording. I cannot, for the life of myself, see at what instance I heard the AG coaching, I'm choosing his words, coaching, persuading, and getting Japan to skew evidence. You clearly can be saying from what those given was that they had a disagreement over basic understandings of what was transpiring. The what LC. That, yes. They had a basic disagreement. Now, this person says this, this other person says this. At a point in time, I think the AG said, okay. You can say what you want to say. That is when no. When that if you if you do it my way, it will not create any difficulty for you. And then the guy said, Japa said, I will not do it your way because if I do it that way, I'll I'll, I'll come out as dishonest, and I will not be doing fidelity to the proceedings. Fine. How can this be one of coaching? I'm having a conversation. With you. <laughs> you say something. I also say something. We disagree on it. You stick your path. I stick. My how can that be coaching? Could it be a failed attempt? It, it cannot be a failed attempt. Because if he had agreed, then he would have, would have done it the he way that agree. he wanted. Okay. He didn't agree. That's the bottom line. He didn't agree. And, and you see, let us take all these things to contest. Mm. I still maintain, like you said, that this is a without prejudice conversation. Whether the AG was right to have called Jakba. Or Jaffa was also right to have picked up the AG's call. It's another matter. When we get to that bridge, that bridge obviously will be crossed. In law, when we say without prejudice conversation, what do we mean? Educate our view. Without prejudice means whatever we are saying, we are not bound by it. 
So you say what you want to say, I say mine. But no one is bound by what you say. And that that converse, communication cannot be used in the court of law? That is it. That communication cannot be used because it's without prejudice. Mm. So you see, this attempt, you see, and, 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 and let us be cautious the way we push this thing. In the first place, in the first place, the intent, they are talking about criminal conduct of the age. Sami Jv always criminal conduct of the age. But he, he thinks that as a train lawyer, the intent of Jakba to have a conversation with someone and secretly tape that conversation without the consent of the other party, that to Sami Jv is fair. That to him is not criminal conduct. Mm. So, so that that's clear invasion of privacy. So, by our constitution yes. in Article 18.2, yes, you cannot do that. You are not allowed to interfere with someone's privacy or privacy of the property or their communication. But you see that there are exceptions, Which? including for prevention of crime. If their view is that this is to stop the perversion of justice and that perjury was being committed, that is a crime. So then wouldn't they be justified in saying in this instance the without prejudice will not apply why because why? of the exception what is the exception here? that which, it which, is it is to which, prevent crime which crime no no which 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 is the crime you are uh, uh, alluded to the attorney general calling him he says uh, section two one three fabrication of evidence exactly why was japa going to fabricate evidence if if I disagree with you, if we are to explain what letters of credit is, right. you have your interpretation. I have my interpretation, and you stick to your interpretation. Can that can that be fabrication? Under 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 what context can you call that fabrication? You see, if if we are not careful enough, we are going to mix up this whole thing with people shouting and not understanding what they are saying. I come from a background of a trade war, so I speak as a trade war. All right. I am I'm not I'm not given to what media men or what people who are illiterate in the law will do. Mm. I stick to my training. I don't see any fabrication of it unless you see one. I have a basic understanding of something. You have yours. You stick to yours, I stick to mine. How can that be fabrication? Okay. So when I started this show, yes. I did Samson Steak yes. and I was talking about how in twenty sixteen, for example, I have many many friends in the NPP and they will share messages they will share documents like Samuel Kujato will do today and then we'll say this is wrong this is bad let's do stories let's do news about it coming to a question imagine this had happened to an attorney general in an NDC regime and I called you on news file would you say you see absolutely nothing wrong with it just like Coco Pinso also believes uh something mm. it is only when you don't understand the basis of our training that you will be quick to judge into it. I mean in all humility you you have followed my practice all the time. Sure. You have spoken to me on very topical matters. Sure. You'll be the best judge. I don't boast about what I do, but it is for Ghanaians to judge. If it had happened in the NDC era, I would maintain the same stance I'm maintaining now. The Attorney General, for whatever we say about him, is the leader of our power at any particular point in time. The Attorney General is the Attorney General. All right. We can have people bash him, or those of us who train under him. If he's the leader of our bar, we train under him. I'm using this figuratively. So, if the Attorney General in the NDC time is the Attorney General, the Attorney General in the NPP time is the Attorney General, mm. I will have maintained the same stance. Because, you see, we should not bring ourselves into conflict at all with the law. That because we want to parade a certain line, we will bastardize what our training stands for. If an AG in NBC's time. In some PTV near.